everyone, Ken here coming at you with another lantern video. Well, actually, it's going to be a little different than a lantern video. I'm going to be doing a little experiment. And by the way, if you hear a lawnmower in the back again, I don't know. Once again, I don't know what it is. This guy cuts his grass every time we do a video. He's doing it out there again. You'll hear it. Here he comes. Go figure. But anyway, we're going to do us some shots today. Uh, no, just kidding. If you notice, I got three jars in front here. Uh, I've been noticing lately, it seems, I don't know if it's my imagination, but it seems like my lanterns have been losing kerosene and uh, they're not leaking. So uh, come to the theory that certain fuels evaporate faster than others. Uh, if you notice, I got three jars here and my main three fuels that I use are, are clean heat, 1k kerosene from Walmart, which would be the Crown brand, and uh, pump kerosene that I buy. And uh, yeah, I got them all ready to go. I'm gonna fill them up. Uh, here's your uh, Crown 1k Walmart. Here's your clean heat, even though I really don't buy this a whole lot lately because it really went up in price, although I did get some on sale from the last Amazon sale. And uh, yeah, we got us. We got ourselves a smaller container of the pump kerosene here. So I'm going to go off camera, label these, fill them up all equally, and I'm going to take them out in my garden shed where it gets nice and hot. Leave them there for a few days, and uh, we're going to see how if or if they evaporate, or if some evaporate less or more. Because I don't know. I come to the theory that, uh, well, I kind of know for a fact that the clean heat i do hear reports of in fact this is a brand new uh gallon right here and i do hear reports of people saying that uh, even brand new gallons tend to tend to go down and evaporate slightly but we're going to find out we're going to prove that and uh we'll be back we're going to fill them up and uh do our we'll label them and do our experiment all right so what i did is i went ahead and i filled them up about as equally as i could to the bottom line here but I don't know if they're all, you know, exactly equal and all. So I figure well, while I'm at it, I got a scale. I'm going to take weights and see see how they come in, too. So, uh, and I'm measuring in grams here. Okay, so our Crown 1K is coming in at 184 grams. Okay. And now our Clean Heat. 185 grams look at that that's pretty darn close for by eye not too bad and then here's our pump kerosene if you notice the pump kerosene has a little bit of an amber tinge to it there and 187 grams okay so we are really all close here and that's a great starting point what we're going to do is we're going to leave them uh I don't know if I'm gonna leave them in the garage or I probably should take them out to the shed because the shed's quite warm and it will accelerate the evaporation process. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna move them out to the shed and then uh, maybe my next video will check in out to the shed there after I leave them sit for, I don't know, maybe six days a week or something like that. I'll bring the scale out with me and uh, we'll see how it goes. Y'all know me, who I am. I'm going to get you that lantern, but it's going to cost you. We're going to find out what's been eating your fuel in there and your lanterns. That's right. Yeah, I figured I had to go with that Jaws motif since I had the Jaws shirt on. And I busted out my Quint hat that I just got recently. But this is not about Jaws. This is a lantern video. And it's been almost exactly one month since uh, I did my pour test mean p-o-u-r not p-o-o-r and we're going to find out which kerosene is evaporating the most and why we're losing so much kerosene or none at all or some whatever but uh and i originally said that i was going to go out to the shed well hurricane helene i think if i'm pronouncing it right happened and it's raining like cats and dogs well not that bad here we we lucked out actually i really feel bad for the people Prayers to all who really had to deal with that, but luckily we didn't get much at all. But it is raining out, and it's been raining all day. And uh, so I brought the uh, 
little samples in back to the garage, which we're going to weigh and find out what happened, which uh, evaporated the most. So if we remember correctly, here's our here's our original numbers from August 27th with the uh, crown kerosene being 184 grams, clean heat 185, and the pump kerosene at 187. So all within plus or minus three uh, three grams. So yeah, so I brought the scale back in. So I'm going to turn her back on and. There we go. It says, please unlock the scale. Okay. And the scale is locked. I don't know why it keeps locking itself somehow. But anyway, we're going to turn it back on. And now it's ready to go. And it's in the gram mode. So I guess we'll just start with our other, the crown. So crown, uh, excuse me a minute. I have the samples over here, which I wrote on the crown here. So we start out at 184 grams. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, 184, 164. So look at that. Exactly 20 gram loss. Look at that. So that's a 20 gram loss on the crown kerosene. And next up, we got our clean heat. Let me find our clean heat. Here's our clean heat sample. The clean heat, <laughs> ironically, is coming in at 180 grams. And we started out with 185. That's only a loss of 5 grams. Now that, my friends, was the top one that I would have thought, if I was a betting man, would have evaporated the most. Because from what I've seen... With the sealed bottles of this stuff, just just go down. But then again, it is a synthetic uh, something or another, supposed to be. It's a, it's a synthetic kerosene substitute. I guess it makes sense. But lastly, we got our pump kerosene, which is still, if you can see, has a little, little bit of an amber tint to it. Coming in at 176 grams. Okay, seven. So that's a loss of what? 11, 11 grams. So, best case scenario is the clean heat, which is also the most expensive. But I guess it's not really such a bad investment. Then I mean, it does burn very clean and uh, doesn't really evaporate. All that much, which is totally opposite of what I would have thought. I would have, I would have thought that that would have evaporated the most for some reason. Believe it or not, I guess it's the crown. The the, the crown uh, Walmart kerosene has got the worst uh, case scenario. But be that as it may, um, all three aren't really as bad as what I really would have thought. I mean, for being a month in my in my shed, and we had some hot temperatures out there, by the way. We still had some, we still had some days that were well into the 80s, and that shed is all kind of sealed. I mean, it gets hotter. It gets at least a few degrees hotter than than the air temperature. So it had to be had to be at least in the mid 80s in that shed a couple of days, uh, which which was very you know would have allowed for the evaporation. Uh, more than what I have here in the garage because this is somewhat climate controlled. I do have one vent. I have one vent that I get AC and heat out of. So it keeps it, you know, just somewhat climate controlled. And, you know, but I do notice that a lot of these lanterns seem to just seem to evaporate a lot. But anyway, we got a winner. We got a winner with the clean heat. So. Yeah, that being said, um, it's kind of what I was waiting for. I was going to do this in like a two-week interval, but uh, it turned into a, a four-week, uh, turned into about a month. You know, life gets in the way and things, you get busy and whatnot. But uh, I did work on, I did have a couple projects in the works, but I think I'm going to save them for the next video. I have a uh, yeah, quite a few things actually like a, like at least three three lanterns but uh 
since I haven't done anything for a while, I think I'm going to just save them for the next video. And hopefully, I'm going to put out another video next week. And like I said, I'm kind of sorry that I waited a month to do these videos. But yeah, it's been a month that had, had passed. And I don't, I don't even know where the time goes anymore, to be honest with you. But it's everything is so fast. But there we have it. There's our results of our evaporative test. And I wish everybody well. And few new subscribers, shout out to I Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next week. I'll be putting a video out next week. So we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye for now.